Yeah, no, oh, I mean, the screen itself, though, is a, um, like, it's a, it looks like an LCD. It's Demo, okay. yeah. Yeah. It is very, very small, right? Yeah. But you would never lay them out like that. Okay, excellent. And seven minutes ahead of time. Can, yeah, we can go see the production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did my homework. <laughs> okay. This is the panel assembly process. Of a 116-inch RGB backlit TV from Hisense. As TVs get bigger and bigger, maintaining efficiency and backlight uniformity are major challenges. This is yet another process that has become simply impractical to do by hand with modern monstrous TV panels. Now it's time to install cable and wiring harnesses. This requires three people. They asked me to do the internal inspection step, so I'm supposed to mark all the various... They're using AI and machine learning to constantly update their capabilities to detect even the smallest errors. And the longer we stand here, the less we're gonna have! Ah, that's another five seconds! Let's go, 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 go! Okay. I've discussed Hisense's RGB mini LED backlight technology a couple of times on this channel. Originally, backlights were designed to as evenly illuminate the back of an LCD panel as possible. This made them nice and thin compared to old school CRTs, but they weren't the best at producing blacks. They were really more like gray. Over the years, they leveled up a lot with smaller LEDs, more numerous zones, and even technologies like quantum dot, light and blue have an RGB backlight, allowing you to shine red light directly behind the red pixel the most vibrant sports car you've ever seen. That is where RGB mini LED comes in. Now it's still early days for this technology, and there is room for it to improve, especially by adding even more zones to the backlight. But Hisense has been on the forefront of development, and when we measured the 160 UX, we were absolutely blown away by its color. And it is so cool to see the backlight working side by side with the fully assembled unit so you can really see how the image sausage is made. This is all this fire scene looks so good, right? Okay, so thank you. We survived. Yeah, thanks everybody.